I'm Hybrid Fox Kid, and welcome back to Don't Escape, Four Days to Survive. In the previous episode, we found the spaceship, and yes, it is actually here, but now we gotta actually run diagnostic tests on it, and hope that it's actually in working condition. At the moment, we're still checking out different kinds of things, so yeah. This console has an inlet for catalyst fluid that will be injected into the fuel tank. Okay, a broken elevator engine. Without a transmission belt, this engine is useless. Well, good thing I picked up one of those before. There we go. Do you want to put in the transmission belt on the elevator engine? It will take 10 minutes. Easy enough. Okay, so now can we use it? Ooh, the up button. Socket. A high voltage socket for specialized equipment. Maybe I might need to go grab my extension cord for that. Oh, well, didn't mean to talk to Kate. Sorry, Kate. I'll be back. I'm sure you will. Um, okay, might as well go up then. Whee, up we go. Okay. Ship's interior. Ooh, we get to go in the ship! Hello! So how does it look? You tell me. I don't know much about spaceships. I always imagined it would be more... horizontal. <laughs> it can be confusing, but the ship will rotate to horizontal position after we launch. Still, it kind of looks like some sort of space bus with all those seats. Its purpose was to drive people to and from the moon. It kind of is a space bus. Anyways, look around for any system that seem to be missing. How will I know if the system is missing if it's not there? Come on, David. You're smart. It's not rocket science. Yeah, well, actually, it kind of is. Yeah, it is rocket science, Catherine. What do you want from me? Okay, let's check the control system. Are we ready to launch? No! The silo hatch is still closed. We can't launch until we find a way to open it. Or do you want us to crash even before we take off? <laughs> no, I was just looking at things. Okay, so we've got an installed filter. Hello. The lithium hydroxide filter is installed. Everything seems to be fine here. Okay, what about these? A slot labelled a new chip is empty. Okay. Oh, did I read that as new chip? Nav chip. God dang it, I can't read apparently. Okay, we go further down! What have we got? Oh, we got a toolbox. Not bad. Anything in there? I found a glue gun in the toolbox. It seems to be out of power. Oh. Well, to be fair, we do have that uh, socket back there. Uh, installed air tanks. Auxiliary air tanks are in place. Everything seems to be fine here. Okay. And then a missing system. Label says engine calibrator, but there's nothing here. Uh-oh. And then we've got another socket. Okay. Um, is that everything? Okay, so that adds more questions than there are answers. Oh no. Okay, yeah? Hello, can you help me? There is nothing I can talk to you about? Okay. I'll be back. Sure you will be. Okay, so we need to find the navigation chip. And... Hmm... Okay, so I know where the fuel is. I know how to get the fuel. Everything else, not the foggiest. Okay, so I'm assuming I might need the suck... Wait, what? Ooh, dangerous looking crack. Uh-oh. Hello. Hey, this fin is cracked. It can't be good, right? What? Where? Here, see? You think this is serious? Looks like it might be. Best case scenario, we will lose a lot of thrust from the air resistance. And the worst case, we explode during the ascent. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm assuming I probably need the welder's kit for that. Or the glue gun. Yeah, did I get the glue gun? Remote controller. Oh, there's a glue gun. No batteries. Wait, you need batteries for a glue gun? Just chuck it into a power socket. Uh, okay, let's go back up to the staircase. And let's deal with that satellite. And then the other thing we've got to worry about is this door here. Wait, are there any, like... Hmm. Maybe if I want to take the hand off that guy that was burnt upstairs. Maybe that might help. Okay, let's go back up. Hello, how we doing? Yeah, can I do something with your fingerprints? Man looks like he's been burnt. Corpse have melted. Yeah, nah. Uh, maybe I should also try and... Let, let's go put the, him over here. Run! Yeah, maybe I should try and open the hatch to see if anything else, like, spawns up here. I have no idea. Okay, pop him in there. One of the parts looks burnt. It says duplexer on it. Ah, oh, did I not put it in? Uh, boop. There we go. Hey, he's working! And then can, can I put him back or no? No, I'm assuming I may need to put him on the ship. Okay, so the radar works. 
Hmm, okay. So... Since we have time... The problem is I don't want to, like, run, be running back and forth to all different areas. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many different things to do and I'm worried I'm going to run out of time. Okay, so... Okay, I'm going to try that knife on that guy out front. Let me stab him. That wouldn't work. Oh, come on. Okay, where did we get the... Where did we get this from? Uh, this. Access card. Wait. Sandra Vendera. I forgot where I picked this up from. I don't know who you are, ma'am. Because if she got access to the other area, maybe she might have access to here if I just off her finger. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. There is nothing else around here that seems interesting. Doot, 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 doot. No, none of the... Oh. Ah, that's a projection screen. I read this, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, go away. Okay, so that means... Hmm. Yeah, let's check the radar. Might as well. Um, hello, how we doing? Ooh, what the? An airplane? An actual flying airplane. Wait a second. Okay, why? Hush. Oh. See any difference? No, should I? Is it down? Yes, if it was flying, you'd see it move. It's not It's not airborne. I thought the radar was supposed to be detecting things up in the sky. Yes, it also detects active transponders, beacons installed in aircrafts. So we're looking at a possible location of an aeroplane on the ground. Yes, somebody didn't disable their transponder, which might indicate a crash. Give me a map. I'll estimate the position based on the radar's reading. Ooh, okay, so... We have a new place to find. Um, yeah, let's open the hatch. Uh, yes? System failure. Okay, so we need to get something sorted with that one as well. Okay, that seems fine enough. We will go upstairs and check out this aeroplane crash. Good thing I decided to go back. Yeah, I think I've found a solution with this game is... If you do something, check back on the thing straight away because... It usually leads to something else and I've lost a lot of time by like going back and forth to places without checking out new areas. For example, the fuel system in this. <laughs> oh, I cut it all out but I spent so long trying to figure out like the mixture of the chemical components in the previous episode. And that I didn't even have to do that. Uh, there we go, an aeroplane crash. Yeah, because it turns out the solution was in the next area over. Ooh, that must have been a tough landing. Believe me, I've seen worse. Yeah, like yours. <laughs> I don't doubt that. The plane seems to be mostly intact, so it's a good landing in my book. <laughs> Did it belong to the side rule fleet? Most likely. And whatever it was carrying might still be on board. Come on. I like the spaceship better. Can we go back to the spaceship? Later, okay? Ugh. <laughs> Poor Cody, don't worry, we will be going back. Okay, so we've got an entry. That's a lot of sand. The whole nose of the plane is buried. Uh, well, I have my shovel, don't I? Oh, wait. Where's my shovel? Um, it's in my car. Yes! Because I packed absolutely everything for the road. Uh, are you sure you want to dig with your bare hand? No! I want to dig with my shovel! There we go. If you want to use a shovel to dig, it'll take 50 minutes. Um, I don't see why not. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a lot of sand. Do I have to dig up here as well? Very plain. Digging that would definitely take too much time. Oh, okay. Let's go this way then. Ooh! Okay. Crate labelled 7. This crate is sealed shut. It won't be able to open it with my bare hands, but good thing I packed a crowbar! This crate is sealed shut and won't open easily. It has a number 7 labelled on it. Do you want to open it? It will take 9 minutes. Yeah, might as well! Let's see what's inside. Nuts and bolts. I'll take a handful. Take everything! Don't need any more. Oh, come on, David! Uh, crate level 2. Crate sealed shut. Won't be able to open it with my bare hand. That's... Uh, I don't know. Is that a waste of time? Okay, so I'm assuming I can open all of these with my crowbar. Oh, that is a lot of time. Let's check the cockpit first. Oh no! Mr. Man! Uh, no? Nothing? Okay, there is something over here. Oh, a transponder. Hello! Hi. That thing flashed for long enough. Oh, okay. And then we've got the pilot. Can I loot your corpse? Is this person dead? It would seem so, kid. 
Let's see if he had something that might be useful to us. Yeah. Let's loot his body! Wait. What if he comes back to life? Don't worry. And bites you. <laughs> Cody. Relax. David is a professional. <laughs> He'll search like a dozen corpses. Wow, that's painting me in a bad light. Ah! What? What happened? Did it just move? Cody. <laughs> Wanna wait outside, Cody? No, I wanna see that. <laughs> you looked at the mummified corpse. Are you sure you want to touch it and search for anything useful? Wait, what if Cody's right? No, let's search it. Just read the paper. Cargo manifest. Let's take a look. Ooh, okay, will this tell me everything that's in the actual hole? Okay, beautiful. So, we have the crate number and the contents. So, we have a voltmeter, a gasket, navigation ships in three, air tank in four, Instant noodles, wires, nuts and bolts, or approved property of side rail plexus. Okay, so we definitely need to go three. I'm assuming four as well. Do we need any gaskets? What was the other thing that was missing? It was... Oh, I forgot the other thing that was missing. Oh, why do I forget the most important thing? So we need to go... Whoop, ah, didn't mean to do that. Uh, so we needed three and four, so let's pry those open. Uh, yes. Open another crate, and then we'll open this one as well. That's labelled for. Uh, beautiful. Okay, so we'll get that. What's this? A heap of electronical chips. Yep, so we've got the navigation ship. Air tank. Not many of them, but they seem large and quite heavy. Uh, I can carry that, yes? Oh, I can. Okay, I gotta drop some things off at the car. <laughs> things are getting way too overwhelming over here. Oh god, I'm really running out of things, aren't I? Okay, so we'll put those there. The metal plate can go there. Uh, the bolts and that can go there. Shovel can go back. Okay. Oh god, my pockets are getting really overwhelming. That's fine, we'll survive. Okay, let's check back in here. So, what else would we need? Bolt meters. I have no idea what they do. The gaskets. Navigation ship air tank. Will we need food for the trip? I have no idea. Wires. To be fair, opening all of them won't be a massive constraint on time. Oh, is that just a stupid idea, though? I don't know. What do you do? Nothing unusual about this. It's just a standard slide projector remote. Oh, was I able to move the slide to the projector? It has batteries on the inside. Good thing they are secured with a screw. Otherwise, someone could just take them. Well, well, I'm assuming I'll need that for... Ah, oh, do this. There we go. I've removed the batteries. Without them, the remote is useless. Okay, then I confuse you with you. The glue gun now has working batteries. They won't last for too many uses, though. Oh, okay. Hopefully that won't die out on me. Um, okay. Maybe... What's my time at? We've got eight hours. I need to still find a way to get that welder's kit, though. The welder's kit. I desperately need that. Okay, so... Wrong button. Hmm. I'd say five and six are fine to miss out on. But I'd say two and one might actually be useful. Yeah, screw it. Let's go through two and one. Uh, five, one, there's one. I don't know. Ah! Wrong thing. There we go, open that. Maybe this crate will be more interesting. And then where's two? There he is. Okay, then I'll pry that one open as well. I've wasted a bunch of time, but hopefully, like, doing this early, I can get this all done and sorted with. Must admit, this is getting addictive. I already wonder what's in the sixth one. Well, we know what's in the sixth one. No one's amount of pipe gasket. Yeah, they could be useful. And then, voltmeters. No idea what they do. Whole lot of voltmeters. Okay. There's the gasket. Okay, there we go. And the only thing I'm missing is the noodles and the wires. Maybe I might need the wires later on. It's only 20... It's only 20 more minutes. Come on, then. <laughs> oh, mate. I am terrible at this stuff. I can't help myself. There we go. Maybe one more. <laughs> Lots of instant noodles. Yeah. Well, at least we're not starving to death on this trip. And then the last one. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. If we end up dying due to time... I'm going to be very ashamed of myself. Uh, looks like I'm out of crate to open. Oh, copper wires. I'll take some. 
Ooh, okay. So we've got some wires. Beautiful. Okay, so here's the question. Do I want to go back to the building to go make that compound? Uh, yeah, let's go do that. Let's drive over. And a part of me kind of wants to go back to the restaurant. Purely so I can see if uh, Sarge has left and stuff like that. Oh god, I have no room for anything. Okay, I need to go back. I need to go back soon. Okay, let's continue through and let's go make that chemical compound. Oh, I really want to get that welder's kit. I have no idea how to get it though. Ah, uh, we'll continue on. Because I probably need that to secure the, the tail fin. Goodbye, Barry. You're a great man. Okay, so now we actually know what we're supposed to be doing with this. Because I decided to actually read before, like, trying to test this out. Ah, <sighs> tis tis. Oh, thank you, game. Fuel burning catalyst formula. This is experimental liquid. Greatly increases fuel power output. Four blues, two reds, and three blacks. Okay. Hmm, okay. I'm assuming I can only do three. Yeah, I can only do three. So this has to equal all three. Maybe that? So, four, two, three. Yep, that's the one. Uh, mix the button! Yes! The mixture finished its work. Let's see. Uh, tray full of liquid. Um, gonna scoop it up. I put it into the bottle! Um, do I have it now? Don't need to mix anything else. I'm done here. Oh, okay! So I have exactly what I needed! Bottle catalyst! Beautiful. Okay, so I think I may have this entire area done and finished with. Let me go. Thank you, game. Appreciate ya. Okay, so two more things I want to do is I want to go check out the construction site as well as as well as the restaurant and then I need to double back the fuel as well because I'm running very low on fuel. Should I go there if I don't know how to get it? So yeah, maybe I might skip the construction site for now and go over to the restaurant in case anything was left behind from the soldiers. Uh, there is a high possibility. Also, please say my tank is, like, full. Uh, okay, it is full. Oh, thank god. I was gonna be like, it'd be a real big problem if that wasn't full and I was, like, running around with nothing. Oh. Protective gloves! I think that may be my answer for the welder's kit. Because there was rusty bars that I could climb on. I'm going to be very upset if that was the solution. I've been running around for ages trying to figure out that. Hmm, come on game. Don't do that to me. Um, okay, I don't think there's anything else around here. No, absolutely nothing. Okay, I'll just double check out back in case anything was left. No, okay, beautiful. So it looks like we can go back over to the, the bloody construction site and get ourselves that welder's kit. Problem is, is my inventory is completely chockers. Oh no. That is an ideal. Not in the slightest. Okay. I should have really dropped stuff off over at the... Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's drop our... Well, we're not using the house anymore, so let's just drop these quickly. Let's pick up this and take our key. Let's stand over here. And okay, let's drop a couple things. So we don't need the key. We don't need this anymore. Uh, we probably don't need the chemical formula, because we already know it. And... I don't know if we need the wad of cash, but I'll just hang on to it for now. Okay, so we've got everything sorted. We'll come back for this stuff if we desperately need it. Uh, we'll quickly fill up our fuel, and we'll go grab that welder's kit as well. Uh, yes. Do that. I fueled the car! Beautiful, we love to see it. And we can pop you back in there. And let's go back over to the construction site. Well, at least we didn't waste a massive amount of time doing this, which is good. So let's head over here. And hopefully that means I can actually do it. Uh... I dropped the protective gloves. <laughs> I dropped the protective gloves back at the bloody restaurant. Oh my God, fucking hell. Okay, let's go back to the restaurant and waste some time. I am really annoyed at that, actually. <laughs> I am really annoyed at that, actually. <laughs> oh, you fucking buffoon. Okay, uh, I want the... I, I want the gloves. I don't want the key. Oh, God. Okay. Time to put these down again. 
Oh, I can't believe I did that. That was... That was a really stupid move on my part. And put you down. Wait, where are the gloves? Wait, are the gloves in the trunk? Wait, where'd the gloves go? What? Where'd I put them? Okay, well... Unless I'm going absolute batshit crazy... Where the heck did they go? I didn't equip them, did I? Okay... Okay, you know what? I think I might actually leave this episode here. I am baffled where I put them. I'm gonna have to watch back the recording and see what I did with them. Maybe I put them on? I don't know. Okay, yeah, I might leave this episode here. I'll watch back the recording and see where the hell I put them. But with that, I'm in absolute shambles. I have no idea where everything's gone and I am straight up confused. But yes, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you guys liked the video, give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around. Or good, I'll see you guys next time. See ya!